I like this ski in here. It's pretty strong. The jump switch there was really strong. He's clean on the outside ski. In this video, I go through a complete race analysis of Patrick Kenny's run from the Solden World Cup. This footage originally aired as part of the race recap where I did a race precap of the Lex Zurge parallel event and went over the footage from PK. Skiing breakdown. All right, let's get started. So it appears that Paul is standing at the bottom of the big pitch looking up. I'm not sure how many gates we're missing as it curls over, but you're going to get to watch it with me. Let's get going. Coming into view. All right, red gate. Now here is the first major mistake right there on that left footer. He gets twisted up and slides low. I like this ski in here. It's pretty strong. The jump switch there was really strong. He's clean on the outside ski. Does look to me right there and there like he's rushing to get off the old outside ski maybe a little bit. Uh, back to some good dynamic skiing. That little stiv there in the delay, that's a time killer. For the most part, I'm okay with stivet, but that definitely is not a good place to run a stivet. As a World Cup athlete, you definitely want to be rolling that one up and hammering that. This is real World Cup footage, shot by a coach, no licensing. I don't know. I hope this is okay, but we're going to show it. Now that we've gotten to see it all the way through, let's get in there and let's really break this run down. All right, let's watch it again. Red gate. All right, as he's coming down the pitch. Now, this mistake right here is not a mistake of the red gate. This mistake here started all the way back here. He comes out. There's your switch. There's the stiv. Notice how far in front of the rise line that stiv is, and then which would be fine if he continued the slide all the way to the rise line. However, watch this. He's going to drop his skis into the fall line there, still ahead of the rise line. He's going to try and connect them. Now he pinches again. Now see how he just slide his skis again for a second time? So he's got a double turn going. Obviously, this isn't the way he wants to be hitting gate. He's pinched it off because he switched too early and got off his stiv too early. Now he's late. Okay, now he's got to, he's lost his elevation, and now he's got to throw another big stiv, but there's no chance. This is that little power stiv that he's trying to throw, but because he's lost so much elevation, he can't feather into it. He's got to throw it all the way sideways. It doesn't work. He goes sliding past the gate. Now he's rotated and losing a ton of time going across the hill. So there's big mistake number one. Now, I like these turns here. There's a good jump switch. Ready? Here we go. Jump switch, slide. And notice how this time on the slide, here's the jump switch, slide. He doesn't engage the ski still right here. That's past the rise line. And now he can stand on the outside ski and bring it across the hill. That's great. Now, when I said before, I think he's getting off his outside ski a little early, right here. Look at how early he's off of that thing. I want him to ride that thing further across the hill. I'd love to get an overlay of him and... Um, Brenster, who's the Austrian that won the first run? Brett says Roland Leidinger. So here, okay, another jump switch. There's the jump switch, land. Notice how that actually worked great for him. But he had to take a huge jump to make it happen. But here's the jump switch, huge air, slide, connection to the snow. That's a great turn. Nothing wrong with that turn. Here we go again. A little lift the tail and pivot. Stiv it around, coming through. Strong in the outside ski. That's a fast World Cup turn. Maybe he's hooking a little hard right here. You see how he goes from outside of the groove, now inside it, almost above the groove. And again, I think rushing off the outside ski too early right here. I wish he'd stay with that a little longer and ride it. There's another one of those big jumps. Look where he's landing, though. He's not even close to the rise line. He's already going for a slide. Redirects the skis into the fall line, stands on it, makes a pretty great turn right there. Really well done. Not the perfect execution, but really well done. Okay, but now, here was this big move where he jumped in. Pretty good turn. Off the ski, super. Look at where he's starting this transition. Look at where he's changing the skis. I mean, this is just crazy early, okay? And watch what happens. Now he's crazy early. Slide, 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 slide. Lost the outside ski a little bit. Still sliding. Now it's starting to carve, but he's low. He's low, and you had to do that little extra skitch right there. That's a time sucker. It takes time off the clock. Goes into this one. This is not a good stiff. Okay? This right here is a 
safety maneuver, it's a bailout plan, I don't know, but this is not how you draw it up. So he goes in like that, slide, 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 slide. He would have liked to have been connected to the snow somewhere in here, but he's not, he's still slide, slide, sliding past it. He's below the gate, he's in the soft stuff. Now he's got to throw another stiff where maybe some people are rolling it up, he's trying to get back online, and now he's back online, okay? But barely, here he comes into this one. Another stiff. See, this is the first one where he's probably regained control. This stiff right here, he's probably got control. Good carve right there. See him inside the groove. Nice. Now let's get to rolling turns here. And then this is just not what you want to be doing in a delay. I mean, you got to be able to roll this one up, PK. I know you can, but it was so hairy above that. I don't blame you for sketching coming into that. No big deal. So. I think you can see it. Let's let it play through. Okay. Good skiing down here. I mean, the kid is a dynamic skier. I like what I see. Get that course worker out of the way. He's rolling through all the way to the bottom. That's a World Cup. This is the first World Cup run. Psyched he's doing it. Let's watch it through one more time. Here we go from the top. Ready? There's that early switch. Then he's not able to maintain elevation, loses some time there. A couple of good ones here. The big jump, which actually worked out great. Now here we go. This one doesn't work out so great. Yeah, a little slide, a little low, slide, a little low, lose some time. A couple more stivs. It's much easier to stiv it three gates up, make a couple good turns, and then carve that third gate than it would be to carve a couple gates up and then have to stiv the bottom gate not easier but it's faster it'd be faster to stiv three gates up and then carve the third gate versus carve three gates up and have to stiv the third gate down so there it is that is real footage from a real world cup in this week's base skiing breakdown that was the end of the base skiing breakdown Thank you for watching my base skiing breakdown. If you enjoyed this content, please check out the complete race recaps where I go through all the racers in the second runs of the World Cups. And if you could be so kind, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'd love to hear what you think about what I'm doing out here. Keep shredding.